What is up, guys? Kit here, Burn One Shadowverse Evolve channel. Second box opening video. The first one did very well, surprisingly. I guess people just want to see stuff opened. I, I don't normally do like box opening, pack opening videos, so it's interesting to see like the metrics on that stuff. Um, but I'm opening two more boxes from the same case as last time. I'm gonna be recording this on camera for you guys. I'm really, really hoping to get the Ultra, I think it's called Ultra or Ultimate or something like that. Um, Forte and that or Uri Urias, I believe that's his name. The Bloodcraft uh, Vampire Dude. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I'll just get right into it. I mean, not much to say here. I already cut these open down here. We'll pop this one open first. All right. Uh, Phantom Hal uh, PR card right from the top very good card for blood maybe that's a good sign <laughs> you're gonna get the leader card in these packs hopefully all right how do i want to do this here she'll put this over here all right all right so today is actually the uh, official release day which uh has me excited i'm looking forward to going to different locals this weekend we uh, i'm very blessed to be in southern california where there's a lot of people actually interested in the game so we're gonna have lots of locals here. Oh, already, uh, Otahime, uh, pre Evo one SL. I forgot what SL stands for. I know it's uh, it's legendary, but I don't know what the S part stands for. Foil Dire Blood he Bond here, and Seawalk, and then the token. Um, one thing, you guys, be very careful. All these token cards, usually uh, some of them do keep value for quite a while because people love these tokens. Kind of, I guess the same thing in uh, Magic. Having the official tokens is pretty nice for going to events and stuff. Of course, you can always just use your own tokens and decide on uh, what the tokens are once you uh, start playing with them. I know I'll probably end up using some amount of Weiss cards or whatever to represent tokens. All right, oh, fire lizard skeleton. Ooh, ancient elf. Nice, nice, not bad. Uh, I guess I'll just throw it here. What's this at the end? Ooh, the evil form of C of uh, Otohime. Very beautiful. Look at that. It's so good. Man, I really need to invest in a real camera instead of like these webcams. I I wish you got. Oh, there we go. That is. Saw it there for a second. Very beautiful. As a once another card too that is pretty good in sword. I didn't keep track of how good Otohime is beyond the first few sets. Bell Ringer Angel. This is another chase card of the set. Uh, this card is basically like a meta card for like six or seven more boosters minimum. Uh, this card is just really good. Uh, I believe they're already selling for like $18 each on TCG Player. There are prices out now, so we kind of have an idea of like where things are going to land. For value of the set, at least. All right. Try Maiden, Shapeshifting Mage. The one crazy part is about some of my locals coming up this weekend is that, oh, what's this? Ooh, Moon Ultra Mirage. Another really good card for Havencraft. I'm kind of uh, torn on what I'm gonna be playing. D-Shift? Dude, I love D-Shift. I, maybe I just play D-Shift and not care. I'm kind of torn on, um, what am I gonna really build first here or be playing first? I'm kind of tempted to try the Havencraft deck we have listed on our YouTube channel. Just because control is always fun. Path of Purgatory, Shadow Assassin. But also just playing aggro beat down and stuff like that is always gonna be good. Maybe I just end up playing <laughs> Dragoncraft in the beginning until I find something I really like. I got a foil archer here. The evil form. Sorry, I just got distracted for Royal Banner. All right. Demon. 
Another Phoenix Roost. Honestly, Dean and I are really excited for the trajectory of Shadowverse Evolve in English. It's looking really good and really strong. What? We're getting two Otohimes in the same box? All right, I'll take it. Sure, sure. Ooh, the Eva form of Forte. So beautiful. Uh, can we get a better look on this? There we go. Oh my God. Come on, camera. You can do it. Oh. Oh, there we go. Nice. Man, how can I not play Dragoncraft when we have such amazing life as like Forte? First, we're Harness Flint Mask, Blizzard, Arch Priestess, Goliath. One thing to note. If you guys aren't aware, I was talking to one of my other friends today who was getting into the game. They didn't realize that uh, I believe this set is the only set that's going to have like a 20 box um, cases or yeah, 20 boxes in a case. I think moving forward, it goes back. It goes down to 16. They probably just had a lot of extra cards in the initial set. So they're ooh, bell ringer angel. Love to see it. I think this is the third bell ringer angel I've opened out of this case so far, which is a good which is always good. I'm going to have multiple play sets of that card. So it will be viable for quite some time. All right. Refugee, Forge Weaponry, Fiery Embrace, Cerberus. I think I opened one of these last video too. Can we get a better look at that? Beautiful. When God, oh, the foil version of Bellringer Angel for the Evo. We can get, we can do it. I believe. Get a get a good picture. You can do it, camera. Oh my God. There you go. The Evo form of Bellringer Angel, though, not too sought after. I think most of the time, at most, it's gonna be like a one of in the Evo list usually. Just kind of there for consistency and like to stop aggro a little bit. Um, what would be Cavern, Noble Fairy, Silverbolt. I know Silverbolt becomes a very sought after meta card. I think around booster five, I want to say five or four. It's probably five. I forget exactly because I do know, um, I think it was this past year the wgp a uh, world grand prix for shadowverse in japan i believe a forest deck one and that was like one of the main ways it closed out games if i remember correctly stage commander arcane enlightenment Grace executioner dragon last card of this box Long, Roach, Archer, sad, sad. All right, but it's all good. We got the second box here. I'm gonna open this bad boy up right now. All right, we got Havencraft PR card off the top, Dark Offering. All right, let's see what we get, I believe, please. What is this? This is uh, the sixth box from the case out of 20. Come on, we can we can hit the leader. We can hit a leader card, please. Or an uh, ultra or whatever they're called in this game. I'll eventually learn the exact rarities. Strong silver, silver. We got a uh, ancient alchemist here. Goliath and then. There is an event, uh, an event tonight in my local area where they're doing like a starter deck uh, event. I'm gonna think I'm gonna try to make it to that one, but the timing might be bad for me to make it out there because the drive out there is really bad, at least for me. Because Southern California traffic is not very good on a Friday. Praised Executioner, foil here. Nice, nice. 
Fulcrum Medusa. Another solid Abysscraft follower. Claw. Dude, every time I see Razor Claw, I laugh so hard because I think of the anime. Uh, Zern Zernitra. Very strong dragon craft. Alright, like first big hit at the box. General Goblin. And then Thorn Burst. And every time I also fill these P or, uh, tokens, I like you can kill someone with them if you have enough of them. Black Scriptured. Dire Bond, strong card. Evil Crazed Executioner, and then Dragon Token. Skeleton Fighter, Elf Chalme, Sage Commander, Choir of Prayers. Dude, the foiling on this is just, I like the foiling on this. It just looks good. I know the camera makes it look, <laughs> it's hard to see, but. The cat, the foiling on this looks really good, for whatever reason it just it just does. So far, I really like how they handle foils in this game. They they're all like very pretty, even like the like non-important ones that are come foil. Oh, Juno's lab. All right, come on, we need some hits here. Please, come on, please. Just give me one forte. Altered Fate. Ancient Alchemist. Dude, what the hell is going on? All the last packs here are gonna have literally all the good stuff. Is that what's happening here? We're building up some suspense. Another Ancient Elf here. Not bad. Erd. <laughs> Two Erds, the Evo and the non Evo. <laughs> All right. Cool Priestess. Wind God. Righteous Devil. Oh, it's here. Oh my god. Well, we pulled two legendaries so far from a bo this box. Flaming Glass. Oh man, I love the art of Flaming Glass. It looks so good. Let's see if we can get a better look at it for you guys. Oh, I just love it so much. I really like this card too. I'm definitely gonna uh, build with it in some way. I'm gonna have some deck. It'll probably end up being just uh, D Shift Rune. I think that's like probably the best shell for it for the most part. Dean does say. He thinks Dragoncraft can run it very well too. Probably mess around with that as well. See if we can fit it in there. So the filter does kind of help Dragoncraft a little bit. We'll see what happens. Dark Summoner Phoenix Roosts. Wizard. Jesus. We don't have many packs left of this one. Merlin, another amazing card to hit. This card is just always going to be good in Runecraft for the most part because it lets you search and get a really good picture. The, the foiling on this is so beautiful too. God, I love the art too. Yeah, I really need to invest in a better camera. <laughs> oh man, okay, Arcane Enlightenment and then Lucifer. We got the uh, Evo form of Lucifer. Not as good as the normal version, but still a very good card. There we go. Three more packs in this one. Honestly, I don't know. Should I should I record the rest of these boxes being open from the same case? I don't know. If you guys really want to see it, let me know. I'll probably open up some more off camera again because uh, I need to finish some decks. But then I can always open up the rest on camera, hopefully get these leader cards. 
think there's two leader cards a case or something like that. So it's like one in ten shot. Maybe there's three. I'm not sure. Genesis Dragon. All right, last pack here. I'm so glad we saved uh, the Ultra Forte for last here. Thank you, thank you. All right. Oh my God, skipped ahead by accident. We got Lucifer, SL version of Lucifer. Here we go. Lucifer is gonna be so good for quite a while. Homecoming. An archer, dang, no ultra hit. Oh man, that really sucks. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna open up one more. I can't help it. All right, we got a third box here. I wasn't really planning to do three, but I see this video recording is 16 minutes long as this point, which means no. Screw it. I have a little extra time. Let's just go ahead and get into another box. All right, we got Foil's Faded Hand PR card here. All right, let's do it, guys. This is the box, I can feel it. This is the one that will have all our dreams come true in. You get a leader or an ultra card, preferably Forte, or your, your Imus, or however you say his name, Vampire Daddy. Ooh, another Merlin, beautiful. Our bond, shapeshifter mage. Blast fate hand serpent, path of purgatory foil. Mimi. Along Ivy Dragon, Aurelia, Aurelia, yeah, Aurelia, that's how you say her name, I think, hopefully. Not a bad hit here for Swordcraft, if it, yeah. Bane, Salt, and Ward. Let's put that over here. Wind God, Craft of Ways, that's not bad. Breath, Dark Offering, Royal Banner, Shadow Assassin. Please, just one. Please just give us, give us what we want, game. All right. Drag Wings, Wardrobe Reader, Walking Cavalry, Noble Fairy, Front Guard. It was a really lackluster pack there. If you guys have been opening boxes, comment below some of your good pulls. I want to know what you guys have been getting and how many boxes. Another Lord Atomy. This guy got severely dumped in the physical card game. I know I've been playing Lord Atomy in Unlimited on the digital card game. Whenever I'm bored and go back to Shadowverse for a bit on digital. <laughs> Unlimited Lord Atomy is pretty funny. Phoenix Roos, all right. All right, Fright Whisper, Shrine Night Maiden, Fire Prayer, Healing Angel. Black Lesser Pack there, in my opinion. That out there. One thing I'm not sure what I want to do, I kind of want to support the community a little bit more by giving them more options of buying singles from some place, but I don't know if I should just reopen up the TCG player store for burn one or just actually open up a separate website. It's very tempting both ways. I think if I open up, if we open up our own store, it probably let us make cards a little bit cheaper so because we, we don't have to pay any fees to TCG player. Oh shit, I think I see something really good at the end. I wish I didn't see that right now. We'll just get there right now. Oh, please. I, I feel like we're gonna hit a leader here. All right, Genesis Dragon. 
Oh shit! Oh shit! See that? You see that? Oh my god, it's so fucking beautiful. Let's just focus, camera, focus! What are you doing? Focus! Please, please! Oh my god. I need to get at least one good shot with this card on camera, please. It's first leader we open. I think this is the big one that most of uh, NA wants. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's beautiful. I can go ahead and add that to my leader cards in the... In the... Oh, this is so thick. Oh my god, it takes up... Wait, is that right? Oh, dang, yeah, it's super thick. Holy crap. Yeah, it felt like there was another card behind it. And it kind of looks like if you look at the seams here, if you guys if you guys end up I mean, I can't tell because this camera sucks, but it looks like almost two cards are glued together. So supposedly I'm just going to actually do this right now. Um, so these cards have like a thing inside of them so that if you have the shadow verse evolve sidekick app, you should be able to add this leader in there. Oh, yeah. So we can hit scan card here. NFC to see it on this device, please. Oh, okay. I have to enable NFC on this, but how do I do that? Um. Oh my God. I don't know how to enable that on this device. Hold on, we're gonna figure this out right now. Oh, here it is. All right, we turned that on. All right, let's see if we can do it now. Let's see, touch your leader card to your device. Okay, wait, scan card. Oh, okay, we gotta do it like that. So this is just something like this. Like this. Like this. on the back how does this work oh there it goes it scanned it Lend me your oh that's pretty sick All right, hold on. Actually, can I swap? Oh, I can't swap between them. I just had to actually always have the card. That's kind of, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of annoying. That's really cool. You can scan that there and go ahead and get the leader. I don't know where to put this because this card is way thicker. I guess I'll just put it here for now. That is amazing. I'm so happy we got a leader. Okay, bro. Well, and it was a good, good idea to open that third box. All right. I'm sure this box is dead, but we'll finish it out anyway. See what other le uh, legendaries we get and stuff. Oh my god. Excited. We got our first leader. Unfortunately, it isn't a leader I very much care for. So I'll probably end up selling that card at some point. Dang, now that I know the leader takes the spot of the token, I probably shouldn't be pulling the token out whenever, uh, whenever I'm doing this. Because it could be a leader card. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about leader cards being like much thicker, but I, I've never seen one in real life, so. Or if I have, I never got to handle it, so I didn't know it was going to be like that thick. It's laboratory. Nice, man, I'm so excited. I'm so pumped for this leader. All right. King, Hell Dragon, Phantom Hell, Arcane Enlightenment. Ooh, Foil Bell Ringer Angel Evo. Too bad it is not as sought after. Just give me normal Bell Ringer Angel, please. Thank you. Gabriel, not bad. Just those in the bottom here. Executioner, Shapeshifting Mage. Ooh, another Merlin. It's so weird getting like two legendaries in a box or in a one pack. 
Merlin's such a good pull. Merlin's just a really good card, especially for Rune. I think just it's just always going to be a stable until something better gets printed. I feel like it's it's almost feels like it's like a Snapcaster Mage type of level of card. Last pack here, probably nothing special. Altered Fate, and yep, that is it. Okay, well we opened up the leader. Here's our hits, our big one. Relia Blooming Blade, very beautiful, very pink. I like the card a lot. Lord Adamy, Aurelia, the normal version, Merlin, Lucifer, Lucifer Evo, another Merlin, Flaming Glasses. Do we get three Merlins in this box? Or in these three boxes? Really good. Ancient Elves, Denitra, Cerebris, Dark Dragoon Forte, Otohime, Evo form of Otohime, another Otohime, and then Gabriel, and then the last Merlin. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this box opening. I'm very happy we got it. Got to open up a leader on camera. I almost didn't record this last box, but I was I just couldn't handle it. I needed to open another one on camera. So I feel like that's where all the luck is when things are recording. All right. We hope to see you guys in our next video. We should sometime, I want to say within the next week, uh, we should have regular match videos on our channel. And every time there's new product and stuff, I, I guess we're going to try to do open uh, more box opening videos. Dean is getting his cases, I think, in like, three three days or so from now or something like that at latest so look out next week we're gonna have more box openings for advent of genesis i probably will record some more just so we can have some more at least some type of content out there for you guys um be that like box opening videos and for you guys to see what kind of what what it is like opening up packs in this game because i know a lot of people must be curious since it's a new game um, actually, I'm curious, how many Bell Ringer Angels did I get in three boxes? Was it only two? Oh man, Bell Ringer Angels are just, yeah, it's like the very good chase card of the set. Like if you're not opening up leaders and you're not opening up anything else that's like super amazing, Bell Ringer Angels are the card you hope to open because they sell for a decent amount. Oh, I apparently put that in there by accident. Oh shoot, and here's another... I put those in there by accident as well. My bad. I just I must have been so excited and just threw them there. Yeah, only two Bell Ringer Angels. I think I got two Evo forms of it too. Huh. All right. Well, that is it for this video, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I'm going to try to invest in a better camera for videos like this in the future. And also, I mean, yeah. I mean, the more our channel grows, the more I can in monetarily invest in this and not feel like I'm wasting money. So, yep, keep pumping those subscriber numbers up. Keep commenting, liking, guys. We love it. Uh, we're enjoying a lot of time making content for this, and we're really excited for the coming weeks because we're going to have so much content coming out for the game in person and not. So we'll hope to see you there. Uh, see you guys in our next video. Later, everyone.